Hey, it's Ben here, and in this very quick tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we break text to different lines in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, there's a couple of different approaches to doing this. Uh, the first one is so we're going to have a look at the basic built in type tool. And so we'll jump in there right away, and then in a sec, we'll have a look at a plugin that will kind of do this a bit more automatically for you. It's a free plugin, so do go and check it out. So we're going to come into our titles and generators here. And what we're looking for is the bumper and opener titles and just the basic title. So I'm going to drag this down to the timeline. And we're just going to generate a paragraph of type here to kind of demonstrate this. So we'll come into our web browser and I'm going to use this fake Latin generator at lipsum.com. So we're going to generate a few paragraphs and we're just going to grab one of these to pop on our screen or just a part of one of them. So we'll copy that, come back into Final Cut Pro. And then when you're working on your title, you can double click in here and basically paste that in. Now, when you first paste that in, it is going to make a very long line of text. So the first thing I always do here is just come up to my inspector. And this is really where we're going to do most of the work in modifying the type. I'm going to align it to the left, which is going to make it much easier to see the beginning of that type. And then I'm going to increase the size of this so it's a bit bigger on my screen. So now with the type aligned to the left here, we can basically move our type point up to the top here. I'm going to select my background layer here and just drop the opacity down a bit. It's going to make it a bit easier to kind of read our sentences here. And depending on how big or small you want your type on screen, we can basically go through this and up in the inspector here, we're just adding line breaks in uh, to our type. So I'm just looking for where the text will break so we can kind of get this set up. So you can see we can modify this nicely. So that's really the easiest way to use the basic type tools in Final Cut Pro 10 to actually modify and get your type lined up in this way. So we'll just do a couple more lines here and you can see it's kind of a very manual process. And then we'll just break this one. And then if we do want to kind of space our type out a bit more and we'll have a look at this in the plugin as well, we can highlight our type and it's in this basic uh, element here that we're going to be making our modifications. Now sometimes you won't always see this, you might just see the word basic here when you first open up Final Cut Pro 10 and we're going to hit show and that's going to show us the type options, so our font and then our font size that we can modify here and then also um, the tracking which will be useful for spacing out your type and more importantly here the line spacing so we can just kind of give that text a bit of a nicer flow to it uh, with some nicer space between those lines. So that's really how to do this with the built-in type tools. And then when we move this box around, we will be able to kind of center it there. So let's have a look at how we do this with a plugin that I made that will kind of wrap your type in Final Cut Pro 10. So we're going to come up to my plugins here and I'll leave a link uh, to this below. And the plugin we're using for this is this rounded text frame option. And we'll just drag it onto the next clip. And essentially, I'm going to do the same with the clip in the background here. We'll just drop the opacity down so we can see that text a bit more clearly. So here we've got, if we come to our layer here, our type layer, under our type generator options, the published parameters, you can see we've got our fill color, we've got the brush color, and then we can also modify the, the type color in here. So in here, uh, we'll just leave these as is at the moment. And what you can see is when we go to our browser here, we'll copy maybe a slightly smaller chunk of that text. It was quite long before. We'll copy that and then we will paste that in and you can see it wraps that box. So just way easier to organize and you can see we can kind of move it around with a text frame, keep it aligned centrally. Now, if you don't want the box behind here, uh, then we can come to our type frame and we can change the fill opacity. That will remove the box. We can obviously come to our outline here. We can turn that off as well. And then we can align our text in the type options up here to the left. And then we can change the size. We can come in and choose a, a different font that we want. And if we make any modifications to our type, so let's go for Adobe Gothic Standard, um, then basically it's gonna to flow to the next line. So if we delete a couple of words here, or add any words, then the text is gonna reflow like you would expect it to in a normal type generator. If we come back to the text option here, you can see I've got a left margin option. 
and a right margin option. And basically, if I increase or decrease these, and I can hover over the numbers as well to decrease them, I can make that box bigger and smaller. Okay, so you can see we can rewrap that text frame um, by using the left margin and right margin here so we can get the text just as we want it. So we'll align that to the center again. And this option also means that if we come to this text frame, we can use the justified option too. So we can have it uh, left justified, so the last line is justified, or we can have it fully justified, which often makes some strange things happen to your type. We have all the same type options in there, and obviously we can come in here and modify things like the line spacing as well. So we can increase or decrease the line spacing. Uh, we've got this set to bold at the moment, uh, Adobe Gothic Bold. Let's go for a different font. We'll come down and choose Apple Gothic. Um, so you can see we've got a nice level of control over this in the box. And obviously we can come back into our published parameters, add back on our border here. Uh, we can change as well uh, the amount of padding that we've got on the left and right for that frame and the top and bottom. So these options here, and we can change things like the line width as well. So a nice level of control um, in this kind of little free plugin that you can download. So if you do have any questions about how to get text to wrap or how to break text on the next line, uh, then do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.